All right, we live. All right, hey, okay. So uh, down here with these brothers in New Orleans, and um, you know, uh, you know, we want to give all praises due to Yakaba Bashim Yakaba Bashim Yakaba. Come, double honestly, like the boss of others at Great Millstone that rule well. Shalom to like Akia gave him support to seven in truth and Akia being glory in season out of season. You know, brother, this is the only reason why we breathe in here. As, as the Apostle Ricard uh, uh, has said, this, this, this is what we were born for. We were all called, okay, to do this glorious truth, okay? And, um, you know, this is, you know, we are of the hopeful elect, you know, and uh, we have that fear of Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shai, okay? But um, I just want to bring this scripture out to uh, put this vibration out. Go to Daniel 7. That's the book of Daniel, chapter 7, verse 18. Right. But the saints of the Most High shall take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever, even forever and ever. Okay, so the saints of the Most High, the saints of Yahweh. Who are the saints of Yahweh? The Israelites, okay? Which are you so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans? Okay, so the saints of Yahweh is going to what? Take the kingdom and possess the kingdom forever and forever. Because, hey, brother, this is what we're doing this for, man. You know? Why? Because we want to see that deliverance. Okay? You know what I'm saying? Into the kingdom of heaven. And how are the saints going to take the kingdom? Well, number one, through Yahweh, Hashem, Yahweh Shai. Yahweh Shai is coming down, all right, to get his kingdom that Yahweh, his father, gave him. Okay, and then you're gonna have that great exceeding army, which is that hundred and forty-four thousand out of each tribe of the nation of Israel. Okay, so I just want to push that vibration out because Esau, the so-called white man, he really believes that <clears throat> he's gonna rule forever. Okay, what the scripture said, he saved within himself that his house shall continue forever, saying it verbatim. But the saints of Yahweh shall take the kingdom and possess it forever and forever. So, I mean, hey, listen, man, we're going to have the kingdom forever. You know, under that what? Under that new covenant. What's that new covenant? That that new covenant is what? Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, putting the Lord's statutes, commandments in our inward parts, in our mind, taking the, um, the stony heart, which we have now, you know, <laughs> because we're prone to going off. You know, we prone to spirits fucking with us. You know what I'm saying? You know, we prone to all these things. But that under that new covenant of Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahweh, Shai, we ain't never going to go off. So Yahweh is never going to see a need to take us out of the kingdom. Okay? So, you know, I just wanted to push that vibration out. If, if anybody got a scripture, y'all can bring it out. But, um, yeah, brother, hey, this is, this is our duty, man. This is what we're supposed to do. And it's only going to get harder, and it's only going to get worse, and it's only going to get more arduous. But guess what? Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai is going to deliver his elect. And we always got to remember that, man. You know? Sometimes I seem like, hey, listen, man, Yahweh Shai. Hey, man, Yahweh treats us rough, huh? Yeah, you know? He abuses us, but righteously. Why? Because he's purging an old man. Okay? But anyway, uh, we're going to get into it. You got something? Well, we got something. Okay, yeah, go ahead. I know, you, you want to word that? I know you mentioned about uh, uh, taking the kingdom. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, brother. You got That's uh, Jeremiah 31 and 20. Thou art my battle axe and weapons of war. For with thee will I break in pieces the nations, and with thee will I destroy kingdoms. Yeah, that's right, because now, don't get it twisted. We ain't out there talking about going against the so-called white man. No. The scriptures say, wait upon me till I rise up to the prey. That's talking about Yahweh Shai. But Yahweh Bahashem Yahweh Shai will use the nation of Israel. Okay? All right? He will use the nation of Israel to take over the whole earth, man. Hence that great exceeding arm. Okay? That's why the scriptures say, that are my battle axes and weapons of war. 
You see, now we're in a spiritual warfare, okay? But soon it's going to be physical warfare, okay? On on Esau and all the other heathen nations, man. Because after Yahweh Shai comes and brings down the so-called white man's rulership, the 144,000, that great exceeding army that he speaks about in, in the book of Revelation is going to go throughout the whole entire earth, man. Okay? And be the battle accents and weapons of war and break in pieces the nations. What nations? The heathen nations. Whatever remnants of Edomites that's, that's left, okay? Because you still got so-called white people all around the earth. The Hamites, so-called Africans, the East Indians, Moab, okay? All right? So now are my battle axes and weapons of war with each other breaking pieces the nations. That happened back then during the time of David, okay? David subdued all the nations around him, man. Then when Solomon came, it was nothing but peace, okay? David, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, used David to take, to bring down those nations. So when Solomon came in, it was peace, okay? Right, right, brother. The book of Revelation, chapter 2, verse 25. But that which ye have already, hold fast till I come, and he that overcometh and keepeth my works unto the end, to him will I give power over the nations, and he shall rule them with a rod of iron. Break it down. Yeah, man. So, as the elder just said, uh, during the time of King David, he subdued the nations. And we're the, we're the house of David, Lord willing, and we're going to. Uh, we're going to subdue the nations again for, for King Solomon. As Yahweh I said, there's one greater than Solomon. So right. if, if the old house of David subdued the nations, what is, what is the new house of David going to do? The same thing. It says, He shall rule them with a rod of iron, as the vessels of a potter shall they be broken to shivers, even as I received of my father. Going back to Psalms. You brothers got any uh, precepts? Uh, yeah, I got one. Bring them out. Uh, no. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring them out. Bring All them right, this is, love the this is uh, Ephesians 6 and uh, 11. When you, when you mentioned, you know, that this is a spiritual war, first and foremost, before it gets physical, it all begins spiritual. And, uh, Ephesians 6 and 11, it says, put on the whole armor of the Most High that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. But we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principality, against power against the rulers of darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. You know, and just backing yeah. the elder up, you know, like, uh, it's spiritual, man. It's like, when you're dealing with Esau, going all the way up to those elites, man, like, they on a whole high level on their left-hand side from, from, from spiritual left-hand demonology all the way to right. technology, man. You know, so you need that spiritual armor, you need that spiritual understanding to be able to weave and bob your way through all of these uh, these, uh calamities, man, that's, that's coming, man. Like Esau really wants to stay in power, and he's gonna do anything by any means necessary. He's gonna do whatever it takes, you know, for him to remain in power. Yeah, yeah, brother, that, that's a beautiful point that you made. Um, brother, let me bring this out right quick. Uh, that goes right along with um. Yeah, yeah, Esau is going to do anything to stay in, in rulership. And this is what he's going to do. All right? Uh, this is Revelation 12 and 12. Okay? It says, Therefore, re therefore rejoice ye heavens, and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of the earth. So, you know what I'm saying? Like the elder was going to, man, it's going to be great calamities that's going to be happening in this earth, man, you know, you got Esau coming down with his mandates, you know, first they want to, first they hit the, the government sector, all government people had to take the, uh, uh, the, um, magic juice, the game changer. Okay. All the city workers had to take the, uh, magic juice and game changer, the clown bit, whatever you want to call it. Right. So now they're hitting the private sector. So you know what that means? People that was getting away but not dealing with the, the government jobs, not the hospitals, they walked away because they didn't want to take it. They said, well, we're going to go to the private sector. We're going to become private contractors, okay? But now Esau said, okay, well, 
I got some for that. Now I'm going to hit the private sector. So they're going to take that away from the people. So you know what's going to happen. It's going to be all hell breaking loose, man. Second interest to 15 chapter, man. Okay. All right. You're going to have <laughs> all kind of chaos in the streets. So it says, therefore, rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. Woe to the inhabitants of woe to the inhabitants of the earth and of the sea. For the devil, and we know who the devil is, okay? Because the word devil, when you look it up, it means false accuser. Okay, if I saw what Tahar was breaking that down. Okay, the devil means false accuser. And that's exactly what he is, man. Okay, he accuses the sons of Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, to the Most High every goddamn day, man. Okay? Oh, yeah, look at them. They're part of the LGBT community. Oh, look at them. They're doing this. They're doing that. When he's the one that's setting all this shit up for Jake to go off, man. Okay? For you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and everybody. Mm -hmm. So it says, for the devil, which is the wicked elite, it's also called white people, but who's... Who has the power in the society? The wicked international Jewish bankers, man. Okay? All right? It says, for the devil, which is a so-called white man, has come down unto you having great wrath. This is a part of his great wrath. This is just the beginning of it, man. You know? With his damn mandates and and and, and hitting the private sector, having shut down America, man. Okay? Because that's basically what he's doing. That's why everything is all jacked up, man. Okay? Things are slow. He's stopping the ships from coming in, man, bringing the uh, product in. The trucking system is all messed up, you know, from bringing in uh, uh, um, uh, food and, and, and goods. TVs and goods, and with tires, you name it, you know? It says, for the devil has come down unto you having great wrath because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. And that's the thing. Esau knows he has a short time. The wicked elite know he got a short time, man. That's why he's coming down with his great wrath. It's, and it's only going to get worse, man. Okay? So we're supposed to warn the people. What does the scripture say? Give them warning, man. About what? About the crown vet. All right? About the MOTB. Okay? All right? We're supposed to give them warning. <clears throat> All right, uh, if, 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 if any brothers got, got any precepts you brothers want to bring up? Bring them out. Uh, uh, all right, go on, right? It's uh, Psalms 94 and 20. It says, Shall the throne of iniquity have fellowship with thee, which frameth mischief by a law? All right, and Esau is that man that, that frames mischief through his laws. All right, every time he's passing an executive order or some type of mandate, it's all right. focused on destroying the children of Israel. All right. And no matter how high it might seem that he's he's uh, attacking the whole earth, this is all focused on the elect. All right? It right. says they gather themselves together against the soul of the righteous and condemn the innocent blood. Right. All right? So they're trying to condemn us. But the Lord is my defense and my power is the rock of my refuge. All right? So we don't have nothing to worry about because right? ultimately these mandates, these executive orders are only going to be affecting those two thirds like that on that on that high level to where they're going to be dying, getting sick. You can't go to your job, but that's not going to affect us because we don't trust in these things anyway. That's right. That's right. All right. Nah. Yeah, I got one up. I got one back you up. I got one back you up, D-Rash. This is second Ezra chapter 16 in verse 74. It says, Hear, O ye, my beloved, which you're talking to the elect, save the Lord. Behold, the days of trouble are at hand. This is a this is a this this is a heads up. For, for the for the men of the Lord in, in this ministry right now. We're seeing Esau come, you know, making uh public news with his persecution. Right. Calling us all uh, BHIs and all this stuff like that. First of all, we're not black. Okay, with different shades of brown. All right. And it's physical, it is gonna lead to him getting physical with the uh with, with the men. Because this word is is is, is getting to him and it cuts him to where he's gonna actually have to put his hands on the men of the Lord. Mm -hmm. Right. So it says, but I will deliver you from the same. So that's the hope that we have to be delivered, man. Okay? Right. And it's going to take faith for you to trust in Yahweh while Yahweh shot. Right. All right? All right. I want to make me up for the Zoe. Go ahead. 
this brother was speaking into this um this hell that's that's to befall on America. And it's coming via nuclear missiles, but we know that there's a there's one culprit that we can identify that's been setting the whole tone for his agenda, just like you know, Lord out on the highways and byways, setting the tone for Yahweh Yahweh Shah's agenda. This is the book of Sirach, chapter 10, verse 1. It says, a wise judge will instruct his people, and the government of a prudent man is well ordered. As the judge of the people is himself, so are his officers. And what manner the ruler of the city is, such are all they that dwell therein. And the intentions of the judge reflect on the people in the society. So if you got a wicked judge that's ruling over the people in Lord Novum, such as Esau Edom, the society is going to be crumbling. You're going to... The crops, the land, the field is not going to give any produce. It's not going to give any life because of the ruler over that city. But when Yahusha comes back, that good ruler, everything is going to flourish again. And the elect, that's why we're going to have the ability. The law is going to be in our inward parts. We're going to have the ability to what? Manipulate the elements, to break the other nations in, in, uh, into pieces. It says, an unwise king destroyed his people, but through the prudence of them which are in authority, the, shit, the city shall be inhabited. And that word prudence means basically cautious. So when you got a, a, a judge that's cautious, he's circumspect, he's looking around, that's going to reflect on the people. They're going to be wise. The land is going to flourish. And that's what we'll wait on for to come. Yeah, yeah that, that sounds a uh, uh, good precept for that is uh, Proverbs 29 and 2. Okay? Good. Yeah. I got it. All right. Come on. I don't want to pay. I don't want to pay. Proverbs uh, 29. You said two? Yeah. Come on. Proverbs 29 and two. When the righteous are in authority, the people rejoice. But when the wicked bear rule, the people mourn. And that's true because you can see the people mourning now. People are in agonizing pain and, and heartache because of the, the wicked is ruling the planet Earth, man. They're actually. They're actually doing like the Lord said. They're, they're being that hammer and pounding and breaking the pieces, the people up, man. Through through what? First and foremost, through uh, legislation, bills, house bills, and then they go into what? Into the, the to the uh, the chem the, the chemicals, yeah, chem trails, yeah. chem trails. Yeah, yeah. All right, yeah. the C19, which is the, uh, the the Victoria's Secret. All right, which ain't so much secret no more. We know who's doing it. Right, right, right. All right. You got uh, what else? Uh, the fools, the water. He's he's destroying the people. And ultimately, the the most biggest thing through religion that he's destroying the people's minds was Caesar, Caesar Borgia with uh, uh, all these different deities and, and gods and stuff, man. Muhammad. Philosophies. Huh? Vain philosophies. Yeah, vain philosophies, man. His educational system. All right. But ultimately, when the righteous. Uh, when the righteous are, are uh, in authority, people are going to rejoice. And that's ultimately when the elect rules the planet Earth. All right? Under, right. under the reigns of Yahweh Shai, man, the people are going to rejoice, man. Really, the Israelite, we're going to rejoice, man. We're going to greatly rejoice and because and, 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 we're going to have what? Total control of the whole Earth, man. Right. The Earth's going to go back into that old state that it once was. Right. You know? Anybody else got one? I had one, bro. I, I I I know y'all brothers have one. I I have read one already, so I know you probably have one, you know, down. But I definitely got one. Well, what, you go ahead, I, you got it. All right, it's back on what you just said, bro. This a rock. This a uh, salaki. This a please ask these chapter nine, and I'm gonna start at verse sixteen. Then said I, wisdom is better than strength. Nevertheless, the poor man's wisdom is despised, and his words are not are not heard. But it go back to the point where it says that wisdom is better than strength because we can see that through the strength of, of the so-called white man in the system, the world is on a crash course to destruction, man. Everybody that's dependent on this system that's looking down on us as if we're fools, as if we're 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 putting up uh, medical misinformation and that we're misinforming right. people. Uh, uh, those people are on a crash course, and through the wisdom of this truth. It may seem that we're on the losing end, but in actuality, when shit hits the fan, man, people are gonna realize, oh shit, those guys was right the whole time. You know what I'm saying? So that's why I said, uh, uh, and his words are not heard. People don't take these words serious right now, man. Right? 
But it says uh, verse 17, the words of wise men are heard and quiet more than the cry of him that rule among fools because this place is going to go down. And as you see throughout, throughout social media, this truth is like the, the, the fastest growing thing outside of C-19. That's right, bro. It's like a, it's like a neck and neck race between C-19 and this truth, man. You know they fighting. <laughs> <You know? Yeah. laughs> so, so anyway, it says, uh, Chris, uh the last is, this truth still, uh, still is pulling away though, man. Come on, in the last verse, uh uh back in the elder, uh with his original point, verse 18, it says, Wisdom is better than weapons of war, but none but one set of destroyed much good. And that one, you know, that one uh beginning with Esau. Look at the look at the state of the world. You know, when 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 Jacob won, well put it like when Israel, when we broke the covenant pertaining to Deuteronomy, the 28 chapter 15 on down, when we broke that covenant, look how much sin it brought into this world. Look how much calamity it brought upon our nation. You know? Uh, you got it. <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what the scripture say. Through breaking the law, we can through sin, death came into the world, you know. And, and and brother, that that's exactly what happened. You know what I'm saying? You know, but it was all set up that way. You know, so that we can learn the wicked side, man. You know, so we can have that perfect balance. <clears throat> so now that we've been through the going through all the sin and, and all the wickedness, and, okay, now we can uh, appreciate the kingdom even more. You know, because like the apostle Ramlock was breaking down. You really can't judge something unless you've been through it, unless you experienced it, you know? So, hey, brother, this is all a part of that 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 uh, training ground, man. You know, Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah is teaching us a lesson, man. You know what I'm saying? But through his grace and mercy, through the shedding of his blood, he's going to redeem his people. What you just said, that Father Ramah said? Yeah. Say it again. He what said that you, you really can't. You really can't judge something unless you've been through it. I'm about to back the elder up. This is 2nd Ezra, straight to the point. 2nd Ezra 7 and 9. Well, <clears throat> 7 and 9 it says, If this city now was given unto a man for inheritance, if he never shall pass the danger set before it, how shall he receive the inheritance? There you go. That's right. You know? That's right, brother. That, that's, that, that's a very good point, man. Yeah, that's good right, right. You, yeah, you gotta go through it, man. You know, so this is a learning experience for the nation of Israel. You know, so now in the kingdom, we can judge between the righteous and what's wicked. Right. Okay, you know what I'm saying? You know, because we all set up here to become leaders, man. All right? Yahweh Baha Shemi Yahweh Chai is setting up leaders, man. Okay. Okay? All right? 144,000, man. They're leaders. Okay. All right. Okay, brother. So uh I was gonna get that one too. Yeah, go ahead. It says uh, the Lord says a false balance unto him uh it's, 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 a false balance is an abomination. So yep. he even he even made us balance, man. He even gave us the capability to go through this thing that we're going through now as a as a, a testament of balance, right. knowing good and evil. Being able hey, to I got uh, one of, I got one of yeah. bag y'all up. Kind and being able to have a right to have a 360 view of everything. Yeah, yeah, right, yeah. It's exactly. true king. Yeah, yep, yeah, yep, yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah, a true right, king right. has a, a 360 view yeah. of everything, man. That's right. So, so so we know the righteousness, which are the laws that the commandments, but we know what the wickedness is all about. That's right. Hey, what did Solomon say? He, he, he said his mind to know folly, you know what I'm saying, and all that, man. Mm -hmm. You know? Yep, yeah, you know what I'm saying? He, he said his mind to understand all that, man. You know? Oh, uh, yeah, so you get your scripture and then, you know, we got to get this brother because he keeps he's he been waiting to get his scripture out, too. Oh, yeah, because I get Okay, the bag of right with you, brothers, was saying, okay, this is uh, 2 Corinthians 6 and 3. It says, giving no offense in anything that the ministry may not be blamed, but in all things approving ourselves as the ministry, as the ministers of Yahweh, in much patience, in affliction, in necessities, in distresses and stripes imprisonment to moats and labors and watching and so on and so forth but just bagging the elders up man like you know this thing is all about you know going through the fire 
and being refined, being purified, you know, being made right, going through that hardship so you can appreciate uh, uh, when the blessings and everything like that come. The fact that we started off with everything, we depreciated everything. So we lost it. You know, we started to fall after the heathens and so on and so forth. And now we're at the point to where everything has been taken away from us. We're at the bottom being trampled upon. So this is all we got. All we got is this food. You know, so you have to buy by. You know, you got it, brother. So like if uh, you know. No, no, Carolyn, I was I was over there when we was we was kind of dealing with eat. Okay. And then it kind of changed. It kind of changed. Okay, okay. It was very big. Con, 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 con. Okay. I'll yeah. jump on it, but I, I had the please ask this two for you to. The... I had one for that brother real quick. This is yeah, uh, yeah, this is what came to my mind, Kazaki, when you uh was saying that this is a uh, lamentations. Oh, Five and sixteen, the crown has fallen from our heads. Woe unto us that we have sinned. You know? Uh, 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 bro. You know, but through that crown falling off, we we have through the through the mercies of Yahweh Shah, we we're able to get that crown and then Lord willing in the near future to put it back on our heads, man. And then rule and the rule the planet hey, earth God, never God for the masteries of the kingdom, you know? <laughs> yes, that's right, brother. That's right. That's right. That's right. Through much tribulation shall we enter into the kingdom of heaven. That's right. You know? So yeah, brother. Hey, go ahead. I, you you had it. You had you play. I want to back what you said earlier. Yeah, bad, brother. Go ahead. I'll come back and rise back. Right, right, right. right. Yeah. Uh, this is the book of uh, of Sirach, chapter 34, verse 9 and 10. It says, A man that have traveled knoweth many things, and he that have much experience will declare wisdom. He that have no experience knoweth little. But he that have traveled is full of prudence. So just back on what you said about the experience of Israel, now that we've we've seen the ups and downs, the wickedness, mm -hmm. we we declaring wisdom now. Right, right, right. God. Good scripture, brother. Good, good scripture. That's right. That's right. That's right, brother. Yep. Hey, brother, you know, because we all fighting for what? We all fighting for deliverance, man. We all fighting for that penny, brother. Yep. You know what I'm saying? You know? That, that's what we all fighting for, man. You know? Which is our reasonable service. So this is nothing to be boastful about, you know, this is our reasonable service, man. You know what I'm saying? You know, this is what we're supposed to be doing, you know? And there's no time to get weak now because we see the prophecies being fulfilled. Look at what's happening with Putin and, uh, and, uh, like, man, hit up for brains Biden, man. Right. <laughs> Even NATO. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> NATO's getting into, yeah, exactly. Because, you know, NATO want to set up their thing over there. And then Putin like, nah, man, you ain't putting no nuclear missiles close to our borders, man. You know what I'm saying? You know? Because if they were to set up their thing over there in, uh, what is it, the Ukraine? What was that? Yeah, Ukraine. Yeah, yeah, the Ukraine. In the, in the conflict with the Ukraine. Yeah, yeah. If, if, if they was able to do that, then you know America's going to be there, man. You know? Because NATO, because America is a part of NATO, man. You know? And Putin is not going for that, which is, which is all just going to culminate into what? The Third World War. Okay? Uh, yeah. Uh, that, that, that Scarlet Color Beast is uh, tired of that great boy sitting on top of it. <laughs> right. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. Right. 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 She's a whore that's going to the Scarlet Beast. Right. Exactly. The whore represents America. Okay? And the Scarlet Beast represents NATO. Okay? And the EU. All right, and you know, this this third world war is coming. The MOTB is coming. Okay, death and destruction is coming. You know, that's why we gotta get ourselves right with Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, man. You know, because definitely great judgment is coming, bro. And remember, the scriptures say, um, started the ancient men. You know, that's right. And he started with the ancient men. You know what I'm saying, brother? So it's real, man. You know? You know we gotta be bad about it, man. I got one here, yeah, brother. That is I got one. I bring out. Okay, yeah, go ahead, uh. You got it. All right, kinda. Of. I, I, I think the elder said that he had one. Uh what, you want the one he, elder? No, 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 no. Okay, brother, you got it. This was back. This was bagging you up. Uh, you just said uh, Isaiah thirteen and four. It says the noise of a multitude in the mountain, like as of a great people. 
the tumultuous noise of the kingdom of nations gathered together. Yahweh of hosts muttered the host of the battle. Like the elders were saying, you know, all of that going on over there in the Middle East. The Lord is getting ready to basically check America, man. Check make America. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. You know, and if he's going into Ezekiel the 38th chapter, God and make God, you know? I got it right here. <laughs> all right, brother. Read it and break it down. It's uh, Ezekiel chapter, chapter 38. I'm going to start in verse 4. It says, right. I will turn thee back and put hooks into thy jaws. I was about to get down. Uh, with Russian, the most high, bringing them back, put them in that old sofa, the USSR, you know, right. or war spirit. Okay. And it says, and it says, and I will bring thee forth and all of thine army, horses mm -hmm. and horsemen, all of them clothed with all sorts of armory. That's why you see all these other, all these uh, Islamic nations, what they call uh, hypersonic missiles and stuff like that, man. Right, right. You know, shields and bucklers and everything like that, fighter jets. You know, the book of Second Henry, 15 chapter, all the way down to verse 28, talks about how, how these uh, Islamic nations go come with, uh, with their flying swords and, uh, you know, it's going to be battles all in the sea and everything like that. Right, right, right. Come, come, come. All right. And it says, and all thine army, horses and horsemen, all of them clothed, all sorts of armory, even a great company with bucklers and shields, all of them handling swords. Persia, which is modern day Iran, Ethiopia, mm -hmm. and Libya with them, all of them with shield and helmet. Okay? So Russia is bad. Why you see Iran on the forefront right now? Right, okay. right, that's right. They're talking, you know, about, about these attacks. Oh, let me say this. Iran will get that revenge for what the, uh, the Eagles did to uh to assassinate those. Uh, right, 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 to the general. Right, yep. Yep, that's right, that's right. Got it. All right. Got one right. All right, oh, yeah. it's uh, 2 Thessalonians chapter 1, verse 6. It says, seeing it is a righteous thing with Yahweh to recompense tribulation to them that trouble you but the lord is all about revenge like when world war three takes place that's going to be an act of vengeance right there the lord's avenging his people and it says and to you who are troubled rest with us when the lord yahweh shall be revealed from heaven with his mighty angels and when is that going to happen during, during what the, the brother just read during ezekiel 38 when he when he come out that sea all right to, to fight all the nation's armies that's going to be the time that we get our revenge man huh? it says in flaming fire taking vengeance on them that know not Yahweh and that obey not the, the gospel of our Lord Yahweh Shah Mashiach. All right, so that's what we have to look forward to. Uh, I, got, I got some. All right, this brother got some. Yeah, I got some for you. Oh, yeah, let this brother bring this up. This, uh, okay. this Revelation 18 and 5, it says, for her sins have reached unto the heavens, and God had remembered her iniquities, rewarded her even as she rewarded you, and double unto her, double according to her works, and the cups which she had filled, filled to her double. But the point is, her sins had reached, her, uh, the Lord, have, uh, for her sins have reached unto the heavens, and Yahweh had remembered her iniquities, man. All right? And tell you in uh it tell you in Job 27 that the heavens shall reveal his iniquities and the earth shall rise up against him, man. So what's happening here that the heavens is revealing the iniquities of the wicked. And guess what? The earth gonna start to rise up against him, man. All right? Those other nations, all right, like the brothers brought out, Gog and Magog, all right, all the other nations gonna shoot arrows at up and they ain't gonna spell not one, man. All right, and those arrows is those nuclear missiles, man. Along with the other plagues that's gonna come along with it, you got it, bro. Yeah, I know. I had this one ultimately. It's kind of. Let me go. Uh, this is Joel three. I saw that nine. It says, "Prepare, Joel three and nine. Uh, proclaim ye uh, this among the Gentiles. Prepare war. Wake up the mighty men. Let all the men of war draw near. Let it should let them come down." Beat your plowshares into pruning hooks, mm -hmm. and your spears. My bad. Beat your plowshares into uh, swords, and your pruning hooks into spears. 
Let the weak say I am strong. Yeah, there's a let the weak say I am strong. Now, that's going to what? These heathen nations, other heathen nations besides America, having those nuclear missiles, okay? Because you know, America, there was, there was the bully of the earth. You know, they were going around, dropping bombs on these heathen nations, taking all their natural resources. America was the first one to have the what? The atomic bomb. All right. Okay, all right, you know? And now you see the nations, they got the nuclear missiles now. So it says, let the weak, which is the heathen nation, say that I am strong. Because now these like China got supersonic missiles. Okay, Russia got supersonic missiles. India got nuclear missiles. Goddamn, Pakistan got nuclear missiles, man. You see what I'm saying? North Korea got nuclear missiles. So let the weak say that I'm strong. Because these heathen nations, they can't bully these, I mean, America can't bully these heathen nations like how they used to, man. That main thing that was been going on now is uh, they're saying that Russia, uh, Iran is at the, the thresholds of, of finishing off of nuclear missiles. Right, right, right. Yeah, yeah. Got, so you have, uh, you got Israel fighting for that not to happen. They wanted right. to, they wanted to, like the scripture says, uh, that 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 what that scripture is? Well, what the, the Jeremiah forty nine? Least of the flocks, yeah, I brought them out. The yeah, the I got it. Yeah. They're willing to just break all rules to go after yeah, them. Yeah, go after them. Right, 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 exactly. But they got it already, though. Yeah, man. yeah, yeah. You know, we've been saying that for years that Russia, Russia has been giving uh, uh, Iran right. nuclear uh, uranium rods, all type of uh, chemicals and equipment to make that, that missile, man. Yeah, 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 because them Amalekites know that Iran want to wipe Israel off the map, man. They know that, you know? And Iran has said that, man. <laughs> man, we want to blow you off of the map, you know? But it's all prophecy. You see what I'm saying? It's all prophecy that the, the, the least of them shall draw them out. But who's the least? Those Amalekites. Right, that's been the biggest thing. They've been, uh, they've been getting into it about uh, uh, Iran, Russia, and Israel, and America been getting to other about that whole nuclear right, thing. Right, 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 this right. Motherfucker right. taking pictures and shit, from thousands of miles up of Iran putting equipment in the mountains and shit. They yeah, right. They, yeah, they, yeah, they, yeah. they have right, a facility right. inside the mountains and under the earth where they are creating the missile. Right, and they right. should do it. And they, yeah, they already got it, man. And, and they're gonna use it on your ass too, man. They make some fertilizer out your ass, man. Hey, you know, I got I got some more. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. The brother got the thing that he's showing. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah back, back in what you said, I got the article right here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, cut, 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 yeah. cut. It says, uh, in verse 11, assemble yourselves and come, all ye heathen, and gather yourselves together around about. Hither cause thy mighty ones to come down, O Lord. Let the heathen be uh, awakened and come up to the valley of Jehoshaphat. For there I will sit to judge all the heathen round about. It says, uh, put ye put uh, put ye the sickle, for the harvest is ripe. Come get your get ye get you down for the press is full. Uh vic what it is? Uh vix over the vix overflow for their wickedness is great. Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision, for the day for the day of the Lord is near in the in the valley of decisions. No. Yeah, that's right. That's right. And like I said, we know through these prophecies and, and various other books that 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 uh that valley, all right, that war is gonna be fought in the region of uh, Saudi Arabia, man. All right, uh, that's what it. That's what that war going the, the great, the great uh war of Armageddon. All right, the the the, the big uh, raw room of the world. The get down, all get down is gonna happen over there, man. Right, that's why some of you black ass women, some of you niggas out there gonna get drafted into that war, man. All right, you gonna get pulled, you gonna get your ass pulled right into that war with some of you numb skulls right now signing up for the war, still signing up for the white man, uh, give you 20,000 a year, to, uh, a base pay to go fight in that war, man. All right, and you and like we always said, we said it for years, once you go over there, you ain't coming back either, man. 
you ain't coming, you not coming back. Most time you come back on the plane, you hug your parents, your woman, your kids. Or oh, sometimes you come in a in a pine or not even a pine box, a aluminum box. You're not even getting that. You're just not coming back, man. <laughs> All right. You gonna a lot of you gonna be a part of that that book of Ezekiel where the Lord says about uh he gonna make a covenant with the with the, the fowls of the heaven. All right, the bird gonna be pecking your goddamn eyeballs and shit, man. He's gonna be drinking what it says, drink your blood. So the Lord will make the covenant with the uh the fowls of the heaven, the beast of the earth, man. Yeah. You're not coming back. Come near ye nations to hear and hearken ye people. Let the earth hear and all that is therein, the world and all things that come forth of it. For the indignation of Yahweh is upon all nations, and his fury upon all their armies. He hath utterly destroyed them, he hath delivered them to the slaughter. Their slain also shall be cast out, and their stench shall come up out of their carcasses, Ooh. and the mountains shall be melted with their blood. Yeah, that's it, man. Yeah, man, that's graphic. Man. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> I got you. Yeah. Okay. Them brother said he got graphic, huh? <laughs> it's going and in my head. Isaiah 13 and 7. It says, Therefore shall all hands be faint. And every man's heart shall melt, and they shall be afraid. Pain and sorrow shall take hold of them. They shall be in pain as a woman that prevails. They shall be amazed one at another. Their faces shall be as flame. And like I like the brother said, going back, going back to the nuclear missiles, man. Like it's enough. You know, this is the only thing out. Taking that juice, that's not gonna save you. Yeah, get the yeah. passport. Hey, in order to get a passport, you got to get the juice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so it's, it's only one way out of here. Hey, y'all, you, know? you, know, you know, too, what's, what's, what's that juice is a segue to the what? To the MOB, MOTB, man. Yeah. Wow. You know? Wow. We know that, man. That's why a lot, man, of, you, a lot of you... A lot of you copper tops out there that already got the juice. If you get the juice, you're gonna get the you're gonna get the, the yeah, big yeah, boy, yeah, man. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's right. You don't have no fade on right now. You're gonna get right. the big bird. Oh, man. You got some more? This last verse is says the how we're coming both with wrath and fierce anger to make the land desolate and destroy the sinner. You know, it's going back to those of you who are trusting in the system, a whore the way from the system, the 613 law of commandments that y'all about to know that already feel for his people. So instead of you following me and live, sin by going against what the system is telling us not to do. He completely tells you when you go to the book of Revelation about Nicaragua and those who will follow the people that, that gives life to the image of the beast, that worship the image of the beast, right? All those different things. Our people, about 99% of them are different. You no? Know? So you are considered the sin of this destruction. It's man. You're going to go down along with this people, Mike. You're going to talk about how the Russians and Iranians and all these people are going to come against the miracle, but you're going to be caught in that line of fire. Your faith is going to be in these flames. There's out there. No? But you got it up. No, no. No, my brothers. Oh, you got one? Yeah. Kind of. All right. It's, uh, it's, it's uh, Revelations 14 and 18, and it says, and another angel came out of, from the altar tower over fire, right? And that, that's talking about them nuclear missiles, huh? Right? And the first angel that, that came what was that the one that came upon the, the white cloud, and we know who that is. Right? Yeah, I was shy. And it says, and cried with a loud cry to him that had the sharp sickle, saying, thrust in thy sharp sickle and gather the clusters of the vine of the earth, for her grapes are fully ripe. As in, it's time to, to judge the earth. It's time to, to get rid of that, that one third of the population. And it says, and the earth, and the, and the angel thrust in his sickle into the earth and gathered the vine of the earth and cast it into the great winepress of the wrath of Yahweh. 
And that's how you know it's not talking about actual grapes, man. And it says, and the wine press was trodden without the city, and blood came out of the wine press, even unto the horses' bridles by the space of a thousand and six hundred furlongs. <laughs> There's multiple football fields. Yeah. Right. I, mean, I believe when you look into that the furlongs, uh, I think it goes in what, 200 miles and, and, and five feet deep. <laughs> Uh, blood, man. You know? Yeah, the accurate. When you go into the, the accurate, accurate measurements of those of those furlongs, it's talking about five feet deep of blood and 200 miles long. You know? Which is, you know, that's a lot. That's a lot, man. That's a lot of slaughter, man. You know? It's a lot of debt. All right. We got one up. Yeah. You got one? Go ahead. I think, that, I think the other, uh, probably one of you. No, no, no. This is uh, Jeremiah 50 and 24. It says, I have laid a snare for thee, and thou art also speaking, O Babylon. And thou was not a well. Thou art found and also caught, because thou hast striven, striven against the Lord. Yahweh was not shot. Yahweh. By Shimei was shot, had opened his armor and had brought forth the weapons of his indignation, which is his righteous judgment. For this is the work of Yahweh, the power of the host in the land of the Chaldeans. And David prayed that, Oh Lord, it is time for thee to work, man. Hey, to work what? Get the weapons of his indignation on what? The wicked man, man. This bloody man. It says, Come against us. Right, the land of Chaldeans is talking about Edom. It says, Come against her from the uttermost border, open her storehouses, cast, cast her up his feet, and destroy her utterly. Let nothing of her be left. So, at the end of the day, the Lord, hear these words that the Lord like, have uh, ruled against the daughter of Babylon, aka America. All right, your beloved city, America. Is this the joy city that you speak about in Isaiah? All right, the crowning, you know, the the, 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 the nation's crowning the chief, uh, uh, crowning city. Is this what? Right, the Lord say destroy her utterly and let nothing of her be left. You got it. Yeah, brother. Yeah, that's it. That's it. That's it. All right, brothers, so, you know, we're going to close it up. And, uh, you know, Lord willing, uh, we'll see tomorrow, and, uh, you know, this going to be the name of the uh, U.S. of destruction show, you know what I'm saying, so I'll go rock this out. So then, brothers, stay strong, you know, we're on the side of them. Right, brothers, shalom. Shalom. Shalom.